just got done watching the brand new Woody Harrelson movie called Champions. This is about a former minor league basketball coach who's ordered by the court to manage a team of players with intellectual disabilities. He soon realizes, though, that despite his doubts, together this team can go further than they ever imagined. Now, this is directed from Bobby Farley, and if that name sounds familiar, he's directed films like Hall Pass, Dumb and Dumber 2, The Heartbreak Kid, Stuck on You, Osmosis Jones, Shallow Howl, There's Something About Mary, I mean the list goes on and on from there, and even Kingpin, and a little bit of Dumb and Dumber. So, this is a movie that I was expecting exactly what I thought it was going to be. I had actually never even seen a trailer for this, I saw the poster, I read the synopsis, and I'm like, I know exactly what kind of movie we're going to get here. We are going to get a family comedy that has a lot of heartwarming moments to it that's going to make you walk out of this theater and just smile with delight and this film is about half of that the half of that i mean is that this very much is the definition of a heartwarming and smiling movie like if you wanted to know a movie that could absolutely delight you from chin to chin and make your heart feel something it's champion other aspect is the family element which Sometimes there's some family moments in here and I'm like, oh yeah, and then they say something and I'm like, yeah, this is not a family movie. At the end of the day, I did truly enjoy this movie and I think that is one of the things that I did go about and I did actually like that it wasn't more of a family thing, but I think some families might not. With all that said, I definitely want to get your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section. Make sure to leave your thoughts down there. Did you guys ever see the original version of this movie? I have not. I actually am interested to go see it now to kind of put two and two together in parallel and actually be able to compare them both, but if you have seen both of them, make sure to let me know down below as well as hit that like and subscribe button for more more movie reviews on a daily basis over here with every movie review you know it if you've watched my videos before i love starting to talk about the pros so let's talk about that first off woody harrelson he's always a delight this is the kind of typical role that he would place himself into he's playing pretty much woody harrelson and he walks right alongside of it he doesn't do anything extravagant or amazing it's exactly what he needs to do for the job and he's good in it as well as Caitlin Olsen was actually a really big surprise. I actually liked her relationship and as well as the chemistry that she kind of shares with Woody Harrelson in this movie was kind of a delight. Running out the rest is Matt Cook, Ernie Hudson, Cheech Marin. They're not really in this enough, but I would say that they're still good for the scenes that they get. Me though, the heart of this movie actually does lie on the team itself and the basketball team that Woody Harrelson has to connect with and grow with. Whether it's Madison Tevlin, Joshua Felder, even Lenucci. Ashton Gunning, Matthew Von Der Ah, James Day, Keith, Tom Sinclair, Alex Hintz, Casey Matclaff, Bradley Eddins, many, many more. And if I missed any names from the team, I do apologize, but I just have to say how excellent it was that the producers went out and found actors in the community. And sometimes these are first acting roles as well. For these individuals and I thought just one that their chemistry and everything just felt so seamless and the way that everyone really went around this was for me with the script here what I really liked was that they kept the film real they gave each character even if it is one-dimensional something to understand who they are behind the scenes. Sometimes it's a little bit exposition heavy when it's getting into those moments, and they definitely dive deeper into certain lives within the team, but I really appreciated the time that they took to make us care and understand about each and every one of them, and it's exactly what they deal with on a daily basis. This film touches on so many different aspects of their lives that not many other films would touch on, and I'm really appreciative of that. But in the end of the day, the thing that I was really, again, the most appreciated about was the fact that it actually gave time to each and every one of them and to really build up this team. So you, it is believable instantly how charming everyone is. And it kind of sees like this is why Woody Harrelson would twist and turn into the character that, you know, he's not anymore. I think if you're looking for anything more than just a sweet, fun humor here and there and a big smile and heartwarming feelings, then... I don't know what you expect from this movie. Like the trailer literally sells you exactly what the kind of film this is gonna be. Like I mentioned at the top, there is some like family stuff that I was expecting more in here and there is definitely a family feeling thing, but I don't know how some families will feel about this. And this is actually where we're gonna get into one of my mixed issues on the film. I was not mixed on this. I like again how they kept it real. Sometimes certain jokes that they make in here, I was like, that is a very sexual joke to make in this type of movie. And sometimes there's a little bit of cursing as well. Again, this does not bother me, but I can see some families going to this and being like, what did I get myself into? Again, I think that all adds to just the actual tone of this movie. And last but not least, though, if you're wondering what my cons are, because I'm not going to give this like a perfect score, 
what do you expect for me to say? Uh, it's a little bit long. Sure. It's, it's simple. And leading in and off of that, I mean, it's simple. It's longer. And you know exactly how it's going to go. Point A to point B. I guess the only actual con I could have for this movie is, you know, you know, I knew it was going to follow a very time and true type of story. I knew it was going to follow it. And the way that it kind of curves in its line, it runs through the same scenario twice. That's just kind of a downer. Like you think you're coming out of it and I was expecting that. And then they kind of drop it down again. And I'm like, why did you do that? Like, I, it just felt like it added an unnecessary pacing to it where it kind of made me check the time and be like, okay, we're about almost at two hours. Besides that, though, I think this movie is a blast. I think it's so heartwarming. It just put a giant smile on my face. And again, like I said, that is the definition of champions. The heartwarming, put a smile on your face, laugh out loud, change your life type of movie. So simple. And I don't think we get enough movies like this nowadays. Like... Anytime we do, it just doesn't feel like it's in the right frame of mind or it's trying to be something a little bit more than it should be. And this is exactly what it needed to be for the frame of mind that I was in watching it. And I quite enjoyed it. So with all that said, I'm going to give Champions a B. Thank you so much again, guys, for watching this. Make sure to leave your thoughts down below. Cannot wait to hear your guys' thoughts. Hit that like and subscribe button. And of course, until next time, stay classy.